Landsman, and thanks for joining us tonight. Now please welcome to the Millennium Stage, Chelsea Green and the Green Project.
Thank you. Welcome, everyone. It's so nice to see you all. Such a nice crowd. Thanks for coming out and spending your evening with us here at the Kennedy Center. What an honor it is for us to be here and a blessing indeed. We want to thank the Kennedy Center for having us and thank you all for coming. And thanks to everyone that's tuned in online with the live stream. We hope that you all are rocking with us too. And we invite you all to do the same. My name is Chelsea Green and we're The Green Project. We have Ignatius Perry Jr. on piano and keyboard. Spider on drums. Kevin Powell Jr. on the bass. And Lorenzo Johnson on organ and keyboard. A lot of people ask me, is Ch Chelsea, is green your favorite color? You know, I'm slightly partial to it, yes. But first of all, green is my last name. So it kind of represents my personal stamp that we put on the music that we play. Also, green represents things that are new and fresh and different. So we like to say that we put a little new and contemporary twist on what we like to do with our live music presentation. I've been classically trained my entire life. Started taking violin lessons when I was four years old. So at this point, it's like my extra appendage. It just kind of comes out naturally. And one of the things that I love to do is merge classical music with everyday listening and everything, all the other genres that I like to listen to, which is everything, trust me, everything. So we're gonna do a little example of that. And it's a blend of Rihanna's Diamonds with Pachelbel Cannon in D. Here we go.
exciting to be able to say, we have two albums out. We've done two albums as the Green Project. Thank you. Thank you. How many of you, this is your first time seeing the Green Project live? You're right, raise your hand. Oh, awesome. We love newbies. We hope at the end of, at the end of the night, everyone will be a new member of the Green Team. Okay, that's what we like to call it, the green team. We wanna thank again everyone for coming and all of our ones viewing online, all of our green teamers online. We wanna make sure that if you're tweeting or using Instagram or on Facebook, make sure you use the hashtag, the green project, so we can definitely thank you for coming and see your post and share and retweet. This next tune that we're gonna do was on our first album, entitled Still Green, which was an EP of five songs. Kind of our intro to the world, that's what I like to call it. It was a little blend of everything that we do, a little bit of soul, a little bit of R&B, a little jazz, and a little bit of funk, just a little bit. This one is entitled Groove Ready. And the Green Teamers already know this story, but since we have so many new friends here, tonight. I'll, I'll share it with you as well. A lot of people ask me, Chelsea, your songs don't have lyrics. So does that mean they don't mean anything? Of course not. Of course not. Just because it doesn't have lyrics doesn't mean it's without a story. So the group Ready came about from being in a series of bad relationships. Anybody ever been in a bad relationship? Oh, nobody. Okay, good for you. Kudos, good for you. Not everyone is that lucky. But basically, the song kind of goes in circles to illustrate sometimes you have a new person that you're dating and they seem to be just as bad as the one before, just with a different name and a different face. You're like, really? Did I just do this? all over again. So, but at the end, it just releases, and that's to represent giving it to God so he can work it out. Here's Groove Ready.
had to ration my bow hairs for the whole show so I don't end up having to play with one string left. Our new album that is out is called The Green Room. We have anybody that has The Green Room already? Any? Oh, okay, I hear a couple people. A couple people. Well, if you don't have it, it is available tonight for you to take home with you, yes. You can take us home with you. Hooray. And that's our first full-length project, our second album. And we were blessed that in the first week of the release, we hit the Billboard chart at number 22 on the Contemporary Jazz Billboard chart. Thank you. So it was an honor, definitely, to have that recognition and know that people are listening. And one of the tunes on that album is the next one that we're going to play. And it's about taking road trips. We have any fans of road trips here tonight? OK. Very brave souls, road trips. You know, I guess for me, the issue is like the car seems like it gets smaller as the road gets longer and the brakes are not happening as often and it's just a lot. So I think I'd rather fly and just get it over with, but we wrote this song as we were taking a road trip to New York to perform and we were literally using everything that we had, the dash, the window, making all kinds of sounds, whistling and singing, humming, and uh, definitely it came together a little bit different than that. That's not how we recorded it. But that's what we're gonna play next, and uh, it's a very original title, so get ready, Road Trip.
is a lot of educational outreach, where we go into schools, some schools that have music programs, a lot of schools that unfortunately no longer have music programs, some schools that have outreach programs that encourage after school or before school practice with an instrument. And we like to go in and kind of shake things up a little bit from their everyday classical or jazz study to show them that live music is still alive and well. People that look like everybody do it still. And not all music is computer generated. It's okay to get up and pick up your instrument and practice and play. And whenever I turn on the sounds on my violin, they're always like, my violin doesn't do that. I was like, I can show you how. So we like to really have a lot of fun with youth and really just share what music means to us. And this next tune is an example of that for me. We had two versions of it on our first EP, Pizzicato, and then we had the remix. And then on our new album, The Green Room, we have a third version, because we just love it that much. It's called Pizzicato Part Three. And this one was dedicated to my family. We had a few loved ones pass away. And unfortunately, nothing prepares you for that. And you're never ready to realize that you're growing up until something like that happens. So there was a moment where we were in rehearsal playing around with some ideas to make this song special for live concerts. And we started playing around with this. And this is now Pizzicato Part 3.
The falling leaves drift by my window. Those autumn leaves of red and gold. I see.
of Autumn Leaves. That's on the green room. This next one is also on the green room. Anybody ever looked up the green project on YouTube? Some of us. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thanks for watching. We had a song that we were working on and we had entitled it Sexy Song. It had a revision entitled and it is now named 1am. And you know, we're just gonna leave that there. A lot of people do different things at 1 a.m., okay? So, some people balance their checkbook at 1 a.m., so that's what we're dedicating it to. Um, yep, we're gonna leave that right there. And we mixed in a floor tree favorite that you might recognize at the end of the tune. So here's our original tune, 1 a.m. Thank you. 
Thank you all so much again for coming. I can't believe we're almost out of time already. We definitely, oh, so, oh thank you. We invite you to definitely hang on and have your membership card in the green team, okay? Everyone can be a member of the green team. And we hope that you all have enjoyed the show tonight. Is that okay? Yeah. We're gonna do one more for you. And as a lot of you all know that have been to our shows before, we like to mix things up and play a little bit of contemporary with some classics in there too. So this last one that we're gonna do is a blend of Beyonce and some Michael Jackson and Stevie Wonder. It's our blend, our mashup of Crazy in Love and Can't Help It, okay? So y'all have been such a polite audience, you know, very quiet, sitting neatly and, you know, very quiet. So we definitely invite you to get up and shake your grooving or even if you just want to sit down and shake, that's fine with me too, okay? You can log online to www.chelseagreen.com. That'll have all of the information for our upcoming shows. We have a special Valentine's Day coming up in the area, so we hope you all can check out some information on that. And we're on Instagram at Green Violinist, on Facebook, Chelsea Green and the Green Project, and of course, Twitter at Green Project TGP. We hope you all have been using those hashtags, the Green Project, so we can catch up with you later. Here's our closing number, Crazy in Love. Have a great night.